Hey guys, and welcome back to Shadow of Rose. Let's continue, shall we? So we've made it into the to this strange castle that we, well, pretty sure that we've been here 16 years ago. So, it's a grand honor that you would bestow upon me such an important task. I can report the liquid void you provided has some splendid properties. It is most obvious you oh it's most obvious use is for my dogs on their hunt, aiding them as they pursue our quarry. It also does wonders for slowing down and corralling the rabbits. Some have been foolish enough to stumble into it and be completely engulfed. With this I am certain that I will be able to fulfil your expectations and get you the results you so desire. Well, that doesn't sound great, does it? This is a very grand, nice, fancy looking room. So somebody is playing with the rabbits. I'm also guessing that we are indeed a rabbit, which is not fantastic. So anyway, we've got some first aid. Wonderful. These poor things. Yes, these poor rabbits. Well, let's not worry about them, Rose. Let's more be concerned about us. Ooh. We recognize that voice, don't we? Ah, it's an old friend. into running it would have made the chase that much more thrilling uh, let me go let me go it would seem this little rabbit lacks the necessary fortitude uh. <laughs> a pity you had shown a little grit and actually escaped that purifying crystal would now be yours the crystal <gasps> Who's this? <laughs> oh, now we have a new little rabbit to pursue. Let's see how fast this one is. Find her! Hunt her down! Well, that's bad. Um, let's get going. Looks like the Duke has become a little bit of a dick in his uh, 16 years absence. Oh well, let's keep moving. And we have no way of defending ourselves either. Oh, and as far as I know, Rose can't defend herself. She can't block like Ethan can, which is bad. Hello. Point and shoot. Yeah, we kind of don't really want to. Because... Um, these guys really hurt. And are extremely hard to take out. Um, on normal, they weren't too bad. Yeah, he's still in there. We might have to take him out at some point. So on normal, those guys weren't too bad. Couple of shots, no worries. On hardcore, um, 
Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be fighting uh, them if we can help it. So this is very nice, isn't it? Very pretty. This game is gorgeous. Have I mentioned that? I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that. Okay. This must be the crystal. The disciples await their mask. Bronze, silver, I I find these masks to unlock gold. It. With their garb arrayed, the lights shall be released. Okay. A large crystal is growing with a pale blue hue. Alright, well, I mean, sure. Probably going to be saving this a little bit more often because, Jesus. I mean, the difficulty, like, normal was really, really quite easy. Um, <laughs> this, this, this is rough. This, this is, this is rough. But, you know, I kind of expected it would be. A dining room. A dining room with a very nice uh, appetizer. See that shotgun. Grant me that which sees the truth through these uh, through its three eyes. These um, blurbs on the screen, they don't stay there very long. Mm, so we need uh, a chain. This is an RE game, uh, RE engine game. So of course we need a chain. And I can see a cat trying to sneak past onto my desk. That would be um, bad. So we've got 20 bullets. That's not a lot of bullets, by the way. Hello, fella. How about you... Uh, Drag that carcass of yours this way. As you can see as well, these guys aren't what I would call slow either. But, you know. Let's go grab these and hopefully... Ooh, you sneaky bastard. See that? He went for me then. Almost. Almost. Oh, okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Should help. If you really want to help, you could back me up against those things. What? So I'm on my own? Great. Well, we've got some more handgun ammo, which is nice. Yeah, we don't get much here. What's interesting about this game, at least on um, normal, is it started off pretty rough, to be honest with you. Um, but it got significantly easier as the game went on. Because you started getting more items and weapons and things. Uh, I don't know how that's going to go down on this particular mode. But we shall see. So. We need that. Look at all these things. There's a gross lumpy thing growing here. Grab a herb. You're not going to find many herbs around. I mean, you didn't find many of them on normal, to be honest. So, this difficulty... Oof. There is some weird animation with the running. As you can see, the way she kind of, like, flops around. It, I, it's weird. Anyway. Ow. Mask trapped. Break core. You mean that gross, lumpy thing? How am I supposed to break it? Use your powers. My powers? Hmm. I literally came here to get rid of them. Okay, fine. But how? What am I supposed to do? What's that? So we need to find ourselves an amplifier, eh? Whatever the hell one of those is. Well, okay. I'm sure. 
How hard could that be, right? Amplifier. Okay. Alright, looks like we're clear so far. And if you hear a load of noise, uh, my cat is trying to play with the box. My cat is kind of lonely. Wants attention. But... He's always lonely and always wants attention. So we're not going through there just yet. Okay. I'll give him some snuggles once I'm done with this. Well, this is pretty gross. I don't think the maid's been around in a while. The maid's probably been mutated, actually. Um, right. I can use these things and combine them together. Okay. Uh, so, a herb plus chem fluid and gunpowder plus chem fluid. There might be more items I can combine, but I need to do whatever I can to survive. All right, well, I mean, we can make more bullets at the moment. Or... No, we don't have any chem fluid. Did we? Ah, right, there is chem fluid there. Um, what do we want? Do we want bullets or do we want gunpowder? Or should I say bullets or health? Uh, huh, I don't really know on this uh, difficulty. So we're just going to go with... I mean, the game wants me to craft a med kit. But... We don't really... want to be wasting any supplies until we kind of know what we need. Hey guys! If you think this area is going to be full of enemies, you'd be right. Hello! That's not very pleasant. That's really not very pleasant, dude. I'm pretty sure there's no reason to do such things. But I guess... Ah, oh, hey, there's two of you. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. The more the merrier, am I right? Oh, God. Hello. This is going to get uncomfortable. Please leave my soul in my body. Thank you. So one hit, one hit, and we're on uh, red health. That's, that's pretty rough. Not going to lie. One hit and we get savaged. Oof. Oof. Because I'm telling you guys, they, they, they don't go down in a couple of bullets. Whew. We are going to have to start thinning them out, though. Now, um, Rose has no block, no dodge, nothing, so, yeah, <laughs> it's rough. So, but we do have, if we look here, in the waiting room, an item. There's also an item back there in the library, but we can't get that just yet. Okay. Anybody here? Yeah, I can find a way across. I think maybe we can. Uh, right. How many chem fluids do we have? We've got two chem fluids. All right. Okay. So it looks like, if we're lucky, we can make ourselves a little ramp. Okay, that will work. That will work nicely. Oof. Kind of glad that held. So it looked a little bit iffy to me. Clever rabbit. Clever rabbit indeed. Now, this isn't really the way I like to play these games, running past all the enemies, but I figured if we're going to do this late, um, i.e. 
way past its uh, time of release. We might as well do something a little bit special, I suppose. And I need those achievements. Well, this looks fancy. Oh, hello. I'm pretty sure we're not on our own here. Pretty sure. Could be wrong. And I thought there was something on this table. Maybe there is, just not on this difficulty. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're clear. For now. This, eh? Well, you say so. I have found a means of dramatically destabilizing parts of the Mutamycy network by introducing a disruptive force to block the auto-inducers they use for communication. For example, the hard-packed cores of mold known as Escalota? Whatever. Begin to break down on a cellular level and uh, disintegrate when thus disrupted. Um, so basically, they're the cores. So cores form when the mutamyce develops in new locations, serving as a sort of anchor point or foothold. They are often assorted uh, with a patch of liquid void, or associated with a patch of liquid void, which the mold has spread. When the auto-inducers of the uh, cores are disrupted, it begins to break down. Any liquid void connected to the core will also disintegrate. It would appear that destabilizing the core sends a signal indicating that a location is no longer viable for mutamycy habitation, trigger triggering a full-scale retreat. So that is the mechanic here. Break the cores. Interesting. And you bet your sweet little ass you gonna we're gonna be saving. So, new variant. So what am I supposed to do with this thing? Drink it, I guess. Focus? Alright. different somehow use on core right. try now Let's see if this works hmm well we got a new meter down in the bottom okay that's interesting so okay so I should no, nope, that's fine. Cool. Just checking that my macros that I set up earlier are working. Appear to be. So this is the new thing. We can now break these and receive items. And gun ammo. But this is a little bit more useful than that. Hey, friend. You gonna you gonna come out? Pop your little head out and say hello. So we can defeat the Duke's ooze and fight him back. One little piece at a time. Which is a really good mechanic. Kind of wish they had done a little bit more with this, but... Okay. So that gives us some more gunpowder. Which is a very welcome addition. I really thought there was something here. Kind of hurt in my brain. That there isn't anything there. And I... I was shooting these pots last time. To see if there's anything in them. Because, you know, pots, stuff. But, no. Sadly not. So, 
so we've saved all of our resources so far, and we still haven't really found an awful lot of much. Right. There we go. I was like, where the hell's the door, man? So now all those little cores we've found so far, we can actually break them apart. And, uh... I can't get around it. I need to get rid of it. Exactly. Now we can start doing some damage of our own. Need to get closer. There we go. I like how everything crumbles and breaks apart. I mean, my GPU doesn't, but I do. Okay. That poor little ten, ten. Oh God! Hello. Ah, son of a bitch. Now, what to do with this guy? Come to Papa. That's right. Pretty sure we can just get around him. There we go, buddy. Here. How about you go fuck yourself? Unless you're going to come through this door. Then we would be... Nope, he's going to try and come through the door. Alright, that's really unfortunate. And I need to move my coffee cup out of the way of my mouse. There we go. I'm a professional. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, you know what? We actually might want to bring this guy down. I don't know if we actually can, mind you. Yep. We're fucked. Possibly fucked. Get off me. Get off me. So it looks like... Right, he's dead. So it looks like we actually do heal up to a certain point after a while, which is actually really good to know. So if we're fighting one of those one on, we know we can take a hit. More ammo. At least I th think we're going to heal up to a certain bit of health. Right, now this here, yeah, there we go. So, is that... Yeah, I know shit can be crafted. But I don't want to craft yet. So, we can get ourselves a high capacity magazine. Which is very nice. And it's absolutely required when fighting those things. Because you can see how much punishment they can absorb. But it's a good thing we don't fight anything tougher than those, isn't it? <laughs> oh, good lord. Okay. Right, this is going to be a little bit spicy in here because there is some stuff that we can collect um, which is going to be questionable because... Hmm. Hmm. Right. Not really sure the best way to proceed. We're going to have to go through that room. That library. Which means we're going to have to take some of these guys out. Maybe we don't have to take them all out. Got him over there. Let's see. Let's see if we can just get one or two. Yep, that's gonna hurt. Can't be that easy, can it? So, we can abuse the doors. 
kind of good to know, actually. So all we've got to do is wait for our health to come back. If our health actually does kind of come back. Because the trouble is... And it is a pain. Oh, there's one behind us too. That's not fantastic. Get off me. Yeah, I think there is one behind us. Right, as soon as they let that shrill up, you know they're dead. <sighs> okay. Yep, there's another one over there. Fuck. So, what we're going to do then, I guess we're going to have to make some bullets. Let's just go all in on ammo. Because there isn't really any way around. I mean, I guess, I mean, obviously there is a way around. Like, we don't have to kill this guy. But it's going to help us a lot if we do. Right, run. 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 Okay. Wasted two bullets there, but that's fine. Oof. Wasted two bullets, but that's fine. Ammo, uh, from what I remember, really does get quite plentiful towards the end. Because, you know, kind of how uh, Resident Evil works. But, to start off with... Oh, so basically, we've expended all that ammo for one chem fluid. Was it worth it? Uh, probably not, but... I feel like... It was necessary. Right. Now, the unfortunate thing about these things as well is you have to hit them head on. If you can't get them from the side. There we go. That works. All right, cool. I say cool. It's not that cool. Oh, good. Wow. Um, there's more. And we're not talking about one or two more. There's a few more. That's rather unfortunate. Now, Rose can't really run very fast. Which is another significant problem. In this sort of game. Oh, hi. They're both kind of just chilling down there. Can we get, like, around them any other way? I feel like we... Well, we might be able to bait them out here a little bit. There we go. Will that be enough? Will that be enough? I guess that would be enough. Alright, I guess that works. Okay. It wasn't elegant, but it worked. And that's all that matters. Right, let's go back outside. And see what's going on out here. Yeah. What? Yep, whatever's out there is a little bit bigger than we're used to. Which is bad. But that's okay. Hopefully he's not going to see us just yet. What did you give me? What did you give me? Gunpowder. Um, yeah, not bad, I suppose. We'll take the gunpowder. We will certainly take the gunpowder. Oh, hello. Monocular door. 
deep in the basement. All right, makes sense. Monocular door, got ya. Right, well, whilst we're kind of on our own, let's open this place up as much as we can. We're on our own for now, which is fine. What other goodies do we have out here? Because we like goodies. As many goodies as we can get our hands on, please. Thank you. What's that? Uh, ammo, you know, a couple of bullets. I mean, it's better than nothing. I think that's all that's out here. A couple of bullets. Is that all that's out here? Can't go through there. Can't go through there. Yeah, alright, well, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, let's open the way to the first mask. We now have the bronze mask. So there's one done. Finally got it. Yeah, well, don't get too excited, girl, because that's only one. <laughs> and we need to find another two more. Oof, rest. Yes, we like rest. <laughs> What's wrong? Everything. <laughs> None of this was supposed to happen. No. The reason I came here hasn't changed. I need that crystal. Oh, lovely. Health drink. I'm going to hold on to these health drinks as much as we can because... We're going to need them. Definitely going to be needing them. Okay. So we can explore here a little bit in the next video. Which is kind of nice. Where is there a save? Ah, there is one here. Cool. I thought there was. Where is my save room? My save station? You son of a bitch. Hey, no, seriously, where's my... Over there. Apparently, our little... Ah, I'm looking at it. I'm a Belland. Right, anyway, guys, that's going to have to do for now. Uh, we are suffering through this. This is, this is as rough as I thought it would be, to be honest. Uh... We're going to sneak past what we can get, but being Resident Evil, you do have to fight some of these things. Um, because it it just makes certain aspects easier. Uh, especially as I did find it strange that there's no dodge maneuver or anything. I mean, we get something in a minute um, that will kind of help that situation, but it's not a dodge and it has X amount of uses. So, yeah, this is going to be a rough ride. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.